I'm Aubrey Reichard Eline, and I'm Associate Director of Development for Rutgers Cancer Institute. In April of 2018, when my then nine year old daughter Grace was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and then my husband, he was diagnosed with a rare form of lymphoma in 2021. Give yourself grace, be okay with, and understand that you need to recharge yourself. So if it's ordering in pasta, or it's going to a gym class or a yoga class, or it's like just sitting outside, like whatever it is. Um, as a caretaker, make sure you take that time to um, nurture yourself, again, even if it's five minutes. Uh, reboot your batteries uh, so you're stronger for the ones that you love. Um, feel your feelings, don't be afraid to feel your feelings because they're there and again I think you show up stronger if you can process them to an extent and feel them and then find the light and rise up um, and be okay with asking and or taking help um, if people are offering it and I hope for everyone seeing this that they have a community that's rallying around them of people they know and people they don't know um, and accepting that um, accepting that help, asking for that help, finding that spokesperson that can communicate for you. If you don't want to do it, find your sister, your friend, whatever, um, to be able to do that, uh, I think is just so important. Um, and I would also say as a caretaker, I think it's really hard. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, hopefully uh, everybody, you know, makes it through their treatment and they, they come to the other side. And, and even if not, um, that this cancer journey, uh, is always there. Uh, it looks a little different after survivorship or, you know, whatever that looks like after you're done with the treatment part. Um, it keeps going and I think sometimes it's really hard for the patient as well as the caretakers, um, for people that aren't in it and you don't want them to be in it, but those that aren't in it think you finish treatment, uh, your hair grows back and the day after all of that, your life goes totally back to normal. Um, I don't want to sound negative uh, that it doesn't. Uh, your life goes back to something different than it was the day before you heard, my husband has cancer, my daughter has cancer, you know, my mother has cancer, whatever that is, your life does not go back to the way it was the day before. Um, but I would say for every um, challenging, not so nice, ugly thing that uh, happened in the process, we have that many more blessings that have come, uh, whether it's a beautiful care team that we're now friends with, whether it's new friends we made along the way. Find those bright spots. Um, they'll get you through and be okay with your life does look different. Try and silence some of the chatter that's outside. One more thing I wanna add to caretakers um, and even you know patients going through it um, is know you're not alone. Um, and if you do not have either family or a community that's rallying, which I hope you do, um, know that there's groups, there's organizations, you know, the Cancer Institute, they will help you find people. So do not be afraid to ask if you need help with something or some, you know, like maybe it is something like it's, you know, transportation or maybe it's a support group. Don't be afraid of it. Um, that was something I, I learned in the process that finding um, my people uh, really lifted me up um, and helped me as a caretaker. And uh, I'm thankful for those that pushed me to do that. Um, and I found it really helpful to hear that there's other people out there that are in your situation or have been in your situation. Um, and I, I want you to know that you're not alone.